Hello students. Today we'll discuss on the topic role of physical education in adapted physical education. Now let us start with introduction. Adaptive physical education, as we know, is the art and science of developing, implementing, and monitoring a carefully designed physical education instructional program for a learner with a disability. Based on a comprehensive assessment to give the learner the skills necessary for a lifetime of rich leisure, recreation, and sport experiences to enhance physical fitness and wellness. APENS, that is, the Adapted Physical Education National Standards promotes qualified, rationally certified educators to provide physical education services to students with disabilities. Adapted physical education is all about meeting the unique needs of individual students with disabilities. In adapted physical education, the instructor provides planning and assessment, consultation, specialized instruction, and adapts or modifies the curriculum, tax, equipment, and environment so a child can participate in all aspects of physical education. The history of the adopted program dates back to the implementation of the Education for All Handicapped Children Act, sometimes referred to by using the acronyms EAHCA or EHA or Public Law 94 to 142, that was enacted by the United States Congress in 1975. This act required all public schools accepting federal funds to provide equal access to education and one free meal a day for children with physical and mental disabilities. Public schools were required to evaluate handicapped children and create an educational plan with parent input that would emulate as closely as possible the educational experience of non-disabled students. Let us now throw some light on physical education. Physical education is a complex term that is formed by the combination of the two terms, physical and education. Physical refers to all or anything that is related to the body. Education is a process of bringing about positive and developmental changes in the behavior of an individual, a child or a sportsman, irrespective of the physical condition of the child. Federal law mandates that physical education should be provided to students with disabilities and defines physical education as a development of physical and motor skills, fundamental motor skills and patterns, that is, throwing, catching, walking, running, etc. Skills in aquatics, dance, and individual and group games and sports. This includes intramural and lifetime sports. By combining the two areas, adapted program and physical education, we get a specialized branch referred to as adapted physical education. Adapted physical education is an extended branch of physical education that helps the physical education professional to deal with children belonging to the special category. Children may have disorders or disability that may or may not be cured completely, but he or she can be given rehabilitation so as to restore or modify the individual's functional ability to an extent of making him or her socially and economically productive. Now, let us discuss the role of physical education in adapted physical education. As mentioned in the introduction, adapted physical education mainly aims at restoring normal or almost normal functioning of an injured or disabled person so as to enable him or her 
to live a socially and economically productive life. With the enactment of the Education for All Handicapped Children Act in 1975, it became compulsory for all public schools to cater to the needs of the children with disability or disabilities. In the whole process of adopted physical education program, the aims, objectives, principles and characteristics of physical education plays a very important role. As we know that physical education aims at the all-round development of an individual which is solely possible if the objectives are fulfilled. The objectives of physical education in addition to physical and mental development also include the emotional, social and vocational aspects of the individual to be developed at the same time. Thus, from all the discussions, we can sum it up that both adopted program and physical education strives to fulfill a common objective and hence are interconnected. In fact, adopted physical education is physical education that is individualized and specially designed to address the needs of students with disabilities who require adaptations or modifications to be physically active participate safely and make progress towards the academic standards for health, safety and physical education. The need for adopted physical education is based on student assessment. It is important to note that adopted physical education follows the same principle of least restrictive environment as all other special education services. This means that the individualized education plan team should consider the full array of delivery options beginning with participation in the general physical education class. An individualized education plan can be defined as a plan for each student aged in between 3 to 21 years who qualify for special education services based on an evaluation. All individualized education plans are outcome-oriented, giving assurance that the student will benefit from special education and have real opportunities, full participation, independent living and economic and self-efficiency. If a student is receiving adapted physical education services, it must be identified on the individual's education plan and adapted physical education goals that should be developed and implemented. Individualized education plans are revised once a year by an individualized educational plan team. The plans are developed by the IEP team and based on comprehensive assessment as outlined by guidelines established in the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, that is IDEA. An adopted physical education teacher or physical education teacher qualified to teach adopted physical education should be able to fulfill the following roles. Design achievement-based programs, implement high-quality instruction, demonstrate leadership and advocacy. Now let us discuss design achievement-based program. To ensure that a continuum of placements for students with disabilities is provided, it should be kept in mind that adopted physical education is a service, not a setting. Adopted physical education can be provided in a general physical education class, in a separate adopted physical education class, in a combination of settings. Develop and implement physical education programs. Evaluate general physical education curriculum for appropriate activity. Write or utilize adopted physical education information to design individualized physical education programs. Develop appropriate adopted physical education and individualized educational plans, goals, and objectives and monitor progress. 
provide instruction that will assist students in maintaining a healthy lifestyle in the community as they can change transit from school to post-secondary placements. Implement high-quality instruction. Certified qualified physical education or adopted physical education teachers, individual state or local requirements for adopted physical education teachers or qualified teachers to teach adopted physical education. Post bachelor's work in adopted physical education or certified adopted physical education high quality instruction. Implement effective classroom and behavior management strategies. Provide age-appropriate meaningful physical activity. Be able to evaluate, assess performance and in physical education to determine strengths and needs of each student. Differentiation instructional strategies, activity modifications, environment modifications, equipment modifications, and specialized equipment or assistive devices. Incorporating technology, that is communication boards. Demonstrate leadership and advocacy. Promote a positive attitude regarding all students in the gymnasium. Have an awareness of individuals with disabilities, Education Act, and other federal, state, and local laws and policies. Collaborate with other professionals. Related services, that is, physiotherapists, speech, vision, and special educators. Be an active participant in the individualized educational plan team process. Stay up to date and mirror latest trends and techniques, as well as keep a track on the recent relevant researches. Stay in touch with professional organizations, state and nationwide professional journals. The services provided by an adopted physical education teacher may further include planning services, assessment of individuals or ecosystems, prescriptions or placement, teaching or counseling or coaching, evaluation of services, coordination of resources and consulting, advocacy. The adopted physical education teacher is a direct service provider, not the related service provider, because physical education for children with disabilities is a federally mandated component of special education services. This means that physical education needs to be provided to the student with a disability as part of the special education services that child and family receive. This is contrasted by physical therapy and occupational therapy, which are related services. These therapies are provided to the child with disabilities only if he or she needs them to benefit from instruction. The role of physical education in adopted physical education can be more specifically summed up as the adopted physical education is a setting that can be given under different conditions. The program is a compulsory in every public school and aims to give the students specifically designed programs that make them self-sufficient and independent. It ensures results by a continuous process of test, evaluation, and feedback system, keeping a track of the child's development. Develops the confidence of the child by involving him in various kinds of physical tasks and are designed specially for the concerned child. 
fulfilling the objectives of physical education indirectly leads to the achievement of the aim of adopted physical education as well thus playing an important role in the adopted program. Adopted physical education leads to the overall human development. It leads to an improvement in the motor efficiency of the students or individuals. Develops confidence among the students, thus leading to better communication chain between the child, the parents, teachers, and the school authorities as well. And finally, to conclude today's discussion, adopted physical education is a field which draws upon more than a hundred years of history, having its roots in the 19th century and aimed at medically directed remediation of disabilities. Since then, a whole body of scientific research has expanded our understanding of the field to the point where it now constitutes a knowledge base appropriate for a specialist. The field continues to grow exponentially and keeping up with it. It is essential if students who require APE are to receive the full benefit of the instruction to which they are entitled. The only realistic means available to school districts and parents for ensuring that those students are receiving that benefit is to rely on a national level certifying authority to maintain an updated standard and regularly certify that its members are current in their understanding and practice of those skills and knowledge. Thank you.